Hi there and welcome to this video about arrays in programming. Now previously we've discussed the concept of variables which we can think of as being a little bit like a Tupperware container and inside of the Tupperware container we can assign values. So as an example we've got a value in here of zero okay and I could keep that or I could assign a different value perhaps so if I take this one out and assign this value inside of there, okay, and place it in, and the idea is then is within my program, if I need to use that value, I just use the name of the variable, and I can, and it substitutes the value so that I can use it in the program. And that's a great concept, and it works really well, and we're used to that in pretty much every programming language. However, there are occasions where we have collections of similar values that we need to be able to deal with in our program. So for, exa for example, let's say I had a teacher who had a set of test scores that have been done by um, her students. Now in that situation, I may want to do very similar things with those test scores. I may want to print them onto um, a letter perhaps, or maybe I want to um, use them in some sort of a calculation, perhaps doing an average, etc. And I need to, each time I need to add the, the test score onto a total, whatever it might be. There could be all sorts of different things that we need to do with them. But chances are we're going to want to do the same things. Now for those sort of a situation, we have a structure in most programming languages called an array, which is like a data structure which can hold several values, or sorry, several variables of the same type. Therefore, it allows us to, to store more than one value at once in the same data structure. So as an example, let's say for these test scores, let's say there were four students. Now, in that situation, I'd want to declare a, an array that had four compartments, a little bit like this one. Okay, so the name of the variable is here, and in square brackets, which is a fairly common notation in most programming languages, we have the square brackets and then inside the brackets there we say the size of the array. So this array has been set to four elements. An element is a little bit like a, a compartment within the array. So it looks a little bit like this. So my array test scores here okay, has four compartments. So compartment one, two, three and four. And each of those acts like a, a separate variable and I can place values into it. So for example, if I wanted uh, test scores uh, one, which is the first thing there, then I would use test scores, the name of the variable, in square brackets one, okay? And I could place, let's say, the value 47 inside of there, okay? Or test scores in square brackets two, place the value 37 inside of there, okay, and test scores in square brackets 3, maybe place the value 50 inside of there, and test scores in square brackets 4, and I can place the value 43. So each time in square brackets I'm using the index value, okay, or the index number for that particular element of the array. Now, depending on the programming language, your array might start as a one-based index, meaning this, the first compartment in the array or the first element in the array is index one, or you may find that your language has a zero-based index for arrays. So for example, um, JavaScript, C Sharp, C++ will have zero-based indexes okay so just important to, to know that that's the case